Okay, so this is going to be the start of my uh, front windshield strip DIY. The first part is that it is tucked right in here, just the slightest. If I remove it, you can see the end of it. There you go. So, all right. So to start this up, I won't have enough hands to show you exactly what I'm doing under there, but I'll show you the tools. What I will be using is a plastic pry tool. Ta-da, this one. Harbor Freight. It's a five-piece trim set. All right, so after lots of muscle prying, I did get this corner loosened. Well, what's different about this is that there's a lot more glue holding it on the front. So I'm using pliers to actually grip on and rip. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess because this front was in much better condition than my rear, it stayed in better condition. The glue stayed in better condition too. Once you get to the bottom, again you have to pull it out. Oh, okay. There you go. That's the front of it. Very dirty hands. Gotta do the same with the roof, and gotta do the same with the other side. All right. So, so now I have my windshield trim, for the front one. Let me get the part number for it real quick. It's right here. Five one three three one eight one five nine seven eight four. Okay. So what I'm doing now is to prep the windshield trim. This is just silicone spray. And what I'm going to do is get it within the channels of the uh, of the windshield trim. It's going to be a little messy and I'm trying not to get it over everything else. But it's just you get straight across. Just like that. I will wipe off the excess soon. Yeah, it's very messy as you can see. So I'm gonna have to wipe off the excess and force to. Alright, so that's done. Okay, so now it's lubed up. I have the seal on my wind screen, and what I'm going to do now is just start to insert it in. I'm going to start with the top this time, and just angle it, and just push it in. And it's very simple. As you can see, I just tacked on the corner. It's a Instead, I'm taking a microfiber and I'm pushing it in. And as you can see, like that side's not in. I'm just going over it. And with enough pressure, this is my left hand and I'm not a lefty. But you can see it's starting to go in. I'm going to walk around to the other side to do that side. But here is right here. Just with enough pressure. Voila. Seal is in. Again, voila, seal is in. I'm going to need both hands to tuck this corner in again, so... I'm, oh, I'll just walk around to the other side and show you guys. Uh, silicone spray is messy. I'm going to have to detail spray the whole car. Here we go. I'm just pushing it, pushing it. Actually, I'm just going to tuck in this corner first. So, what you do is that. Tuck it in. And that. I just... You gotta play around with it a little. It's hard to do it with one hand, so I'm gonna end this video right now. Well, there you go. This corner is fine now. All the way up, 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 up. Corner is fine. It looks very OEM again. That corner. 
this was one of my bad corners, fine. This was the corner with the tear on it, fine. And if you just look across, well, to a point, because this camera's only so good. Well, perfect. Alright, so there's your little quick DIY overview. Um, it's not much to it. So, thanks for watching. Front.